And uh, Keon Corla, can I begin by um, just extending my solidarity and good wishes to the two members of Angar Dishia Kona who were shot and injured in the course of their duties last night in Whitechapel in Blanchardstown uh, here in Dublin. We are very conscious of the fact that the Gardaí put themselves in harm's way day in and day out to keep, keep our community safe. So we express our appreciation for that and extend our solidarity to the two Gardaí in question at this time and indeed to the community in Blanchardstown for whom this is also a, a very violent ordeal. Taoiseach, on Friday you will make an, your announcement on the next phase of the reopening of our society and our economy and there's no doubt that there's a feeling of hope and optimism as we look forward to getting back to some kind of normality and people want to get back to work and businesses reopen. But Taoiseach, as we head towards uh, Friday, there are still 300,000 workers relying on the pandemic unemployment payment. And there's a further 300,000 still depending on the wage subsidy scheme. And as you know, many of these people haven't seen a day's work in more than a year. Uh, and despite the reopening, uh, they are not sure when they will get back to work again. They depend on these income supports to pay their bills, their rent, to provide for their kids and to put food on the table. Now Taoiseach, you had planned to cut these supports from January, but the onset of the third wave forced you to change your mind. Then again in April, you resurrected an intention to introduce cuts from the end of June, even though thousands of workers and businesses will still be prevented um, from earning. And by the way, the sectors affected include, as you know, aviation, arts and entertainment, restaurants, pubs that don't have outdoor areas, and aspects of the tourism sector that cater for international uh, visitors. And by the way, in addition, to the P in addition to the PUP and the wage subsidy scheme, those receiving the short-time work support are also in a situation where their eligibility is coming to an end, uh, but they won't be back in full time employment. So for weeks now these workers have had a cloud of uncertainty hanging over them. Minister Humphreys said that government would give clarity regarding the future of these payments by the end of May. Well, it's now the 26th of May, and yet these workers still don't know what they will face now come the end of June. And I think it's just unfair to leave them with this level of stress and anxiety. Everybody wants to get back to work as soon as is possible and safe. And these workers aren't looking for big... Uh, bonuses or massive pay hikes that others have seen during the crisis. They simply want fairness and an assurance from their government that the rug won't be pulled from under them while they're still going through very difficult times. So it's not good enough, Taoiseach, simply to say that there won't be a cliff edge these workers need to know that they won't face any cut. In fact, we've consistently said to you that for so long as we have a public health emergency and that prevents people from going to work or reopening their businesses, they need to be supported. I'm sure you agree with that, Taoiseach. Everyone wants to get back to work, but the reality is that we will still face uh, restrictions for some time. And let's say it out loud, we're, we're still unclear and cannot be certain uh, about new variants in the future. So it's clear to me that income support should continue until the autumn at least. I think that makes sense. Thank you, Deputy. Workers and businesses have lost income. So Taoiseach, in your announcement on Friday, will you tell those in receipt of those payments, the PUP, the wage subsidy I'm scheme, up, that Deputy. their payments will not be cut at the end of June? Thank you very much, Thank Deputy you. MacDonald. Taoiseach. Well, um, uh, first of all, I welcome the, 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 the Deputy's you know, acknowledgement that uh, progress has been made in relation to dealing with the, the COVID crisis and that the, the plan is working in terms of the steady, cautious uh, reopening of society uh, as the vaccination programme successfully rolls out with great momentum. 96% um, of, of the supply that comes in is being administered within a week um, by the HSE. Um, and people have commented on the efficiency of the vaccination programme, uh, how effective it is. And we've made it very clear um, consistently uh, 
by our interventions since the commencement of the pandemic and throughout the summer of last summer um, and this first six months of this year, the state intervention, the government intervention has been unprecedented in both supporting incomes and in supporting businesses uh, and enterprises. And the entire rationale for that has been to protect as many jobs as we possibly can uh, and also to protect incomes uh, above what they would otherwise have been uh, given the impact of the virus on so many industries. Um, and um, without question, uh, without question, uh, the impact uh, has been most significant um, on the hospitality sector, on the aviation sector, um, and indeed on the arts, entertainment, and a number of other sectors that are related to all of those areas, like the taxi drivers, for example, um, or a number of other businesses. And we've always amended our schemes um, with a view to trying to get more and more involved, more and more, more sectors covered by the supports. And the next phase will be how do we re-engineer, reboot and re-facilitate the rebooting of those sectors of the economy over the next um, six months. And the National Economic Recovery Plan will be the framework within which we identify the growth areas for the future, how we assist economic recovery as we reopen society in an effective way. We have said there will be no cliff edge in terms of the reduction of supports, um, and that remains the position. The Cabinet subcommittee will continue to meet on economic recovery, finalising and fine-tuning the National Economic Recovery Plan. Uh, and we're very conscious of the significant difficulties in aviation for the workers in aviation, for pilots, cabin crews, ground handling staff right across the aviation sector. They've been out of work for a long, long time because of COVID-19, uh, and particularly because of the third wave, um, and also um, the related hospitality and tourism as well. But you know what? The hospitality, good news in June, 2nd of June, uh, with hotels, B&Bs and guest houses coming back, 7th of June, outdoor dining, outdoor drinking. That's very positive. Um, and we will be in a position on Friday to uh, clarify what's possible um, for June and July um, in all of those um, particular sectors, particularly you know, aviation, hospitality, the arts, sport, uh, and all of those particular sectors. Um, could I just finally say that um, last evening uh, two Gardaí were uh, shot and wounded uh, at Count Corla, uh, and as I said last evening in my statement, I think it illustrates once again the extraordinary um, uh, commitment and contribution of Angora Shikona to the public well-being and to the public interest. Uh, last night's incident illustrates that around every corner as the Gardaí go about their duty, one never knows what can befall them. And I just want to wish those Gardaí uh, a speedy recovery and thank Angora Shikona for the consistent support of the public interest and of our citizens as they go about their daily duties. Thank you, Councillor. Thank you, Taoiseach. And I'm sure the House joins with you and Deputy MacDonald in, in those good wishes. Uh, Deputy MacDonald. Thank you, King Corley. And we certainly reiterate <coughs> those sentiments in respect of the Gardaí. Um, Taoiseach, there have been, I mean, not just, um, just here, but internationally, what, what you described correctly is unprecedented interventions to support people in a context of an unprecedented, at least in our lifetimes, uh, public health emergency and, and social emergency. And what I am asking from you is not to reiterate again the no cliff edge position. I want you to tell hundreds of thousands of people who are still relying on the pandemic unemployment payment, the wage subsidy scheme, the short term work support, that they will not experience a cut. And I'm making that uh, request to you in the full knowledge that workers want to get back to work and we want to get them there. We want to get business reopened and we want to do it safely. But we know we are not going to have a complete reopening of society, Thank the you, economy Deputy. in each sector overnight. So for those workers, can you assure them that there will be no cut and can you further assure them that the supports they rely on will be extended to the autumn at least? Thank you very much, Deputy. Taoiseach? As I said, the Cabinet Subcommittee on Economic Recovery will be meeting in the next number of days um, to discuss the National Economic Recovery Plan. And part of that plan 
uh, whilst it will focus obviously on the digital transformation uh, and jobs within the new green economy, uh, it will also be focusing in on terms of the medium term, medium term framework for particular sectors that have suffered more than most um, as a result of the pandemic uh, uh, and factors relating um, to it. Uh, and so that means evolving the, the, the supports uh, towards the second half of the year um, and, 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 that, and a proper targeting of those supports to facilitate growth because we do want people back to work. Uh, we want to facilitate people to get back to work uh, in the different sectors as safely and securely as we possibly can. You know, if you think of what has happened over the last number of months, construction has come back. Uh, retail now um, has come back. Our schools have reopened now for quite Thank some you, time Tisha. and our childcare has reopened. So this uh, plan is working um, and we've managed to keep the pressure on the virus whilst rolling out the vaccination program. Thank you very and much. That is our Tisha, intention time is up. and we are very mindful of, of protecting people and businesses and jobs as, as, uh, to the optimal degree that we possibly can as a government.